Google Drive, Google Drive does whatever Tasker does. Seriously, it's that good. Hi, I'm Matt and this is Not Enough Tech and today we're talking Tasker. Tasker specifically and Google Drive because the recent update allows integration, the full integration of Google Drive. Now Google Drive has been present in Tasker for a little bit, so you could start with uploads then uh, of the backups, uh, then you could do a couple of things uh, in order to upload the files to Google Drive, but now we have a full integration with, uh, which allows you to upload, download and trash the files itself. Just be careful with trashing files because you can delete every single file from the Google Drive. All right, I'm messing. It's gonna end up in a bin, so you saved there. Uh, you can mess a lot. Now, what's most exciting about this is that each time you choose to upload something, you can authorize more than one account, and you can pick which account should you upload something to. So that gave me an idea because I don't like to keep my screenshots, mostly used for Tasker tutorials, etc., uh, with my photos. I know there is a designated folder right now in Google Photos, but previously that wasn't the case. And anyway, I'd like to store them on a separate Google account, which is tied to Not Enough Tech. So that's something we're gonna be doing. So each time I'm gonna take a screenshot, it's gonna be uploaded to my Google Drive from Not Enough Tech and available straight away thanks to the uh, Google Sync on my computer for me to use. And uh, I hope you're interested, because that's what we're gonna do. And so here's how it works. You take a screenshot, screenshot's taken, and after a moment, it's uploading the screenshots to the, your Google Drive. Oh, selected Google Drive, and I've picked my uh, Google Drive associated with Not Enough Tech. Now, in a moment, that file is going to be here on the computer. As you can see, it's downloaded. I got a notification from Join, and I can access it via Google uh, Backup. Uh, you can access this application in here. Let me just dismiss this. You can access the um, Google Sync and download it on your PC if you want to use this functionality. Now let's dive into the tasker. So the setup of this is fairly simple. What we've got are three tasks and one profile. Now let's start with the task and we're gonna get back to the profile itself in a second. To start with, I've selected the first task, which basically authorizes your account and sets this variable containing all the access information. So what you have to do is just to sign into your Google, pick the account and store that information in a variable for the latest use. So when you do this, it'll give you a notification with all the information on the account, select an account, authorize it, and you're good to go. Now, once we have our account authorized, we need to write uh, something to upload it. So I wrote the task to upload the file. Basically, it will flash the information about the file and says, uh, well, tell me that uh, it's uploading the screenshots. Then I'm gonna upload the uh, file to the Google and uh, you have to use the Google Drive account uh, variable or you can type it manually if you want just look it up what's going to be stored in this uh, then I know I'm going to delegate this from another task so data or file I'm going to submit for upload it's going to be stored in a parameter one variable now remote folder if it's a destination that has not been created before it's going to be created for you and you can select uh, override if it exists and publicly share file if you want to link, etc. Now lastly, I'm just going to uh, confirm that this is, uh, has been done on the device and send a push message to my PC saying like, okay, this is done. You can uh, access the file now from your computer because it's going to be synchronized on the computer itself. Now, the profile that's going to operate all this uh, this is a profile that's going to be a monitor attribute of the file, well, in this case, of the screen, uh, screenshot folder, because each time you're going to place a new file inside the folder, the folder attributes, including size, will change, and that's going to be our event. Now, to trigger this, uh, we're going to well, to start the upload, we're going to uh, make a new task, which monitors the changes, and it will list all the pictures uh, in and modif according to their modification date or in reverse this will make sure that the newest file it's gonna be stored as a first file in an array and that's why i'm passing this first file in an array on the first position and that's basically it's all that's all you need if you're interested in the files itself just head back to my website there is a tasker net link for you to download 
As you can see, that was pretty simple. If you want to know a little bit more details on how to achieve it, or the video was slightly too quick for you, in the description of the video you're gonna find the full written tutorial so you can access it, you can find the files to download so if you're feeling lazy, you can click on that and access the file itself. Also, this is the first time I'm using Taskinet for my, pro my profiles, so let me know how that works for you and whether you like it. I've put all the resources in the description of the profile to download or project to download, so be sure to check this out. As usual, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, you know where to find me, you know how to use the fa uh, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, and all the social media, so uh, if you want to get notified, just follow me. And as usual, I'm gonna see you in the next video. Until then.